Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We got some really big news today. You know, El Salvador, Venezuela, and now Tonga wants to follow making Bitcoin legal tender. Now, we have a bombshell with a much bigger country, and you can see it right here on Yahoo Finance. Brazil is going to make Bitcoin legal payment. Well, they're trying to anyways. Now, the bill hasn't passed, but Brazil is not in the same category as Tonga, as El Salvador, as Venezuela. They're in a much, much higher economic category. If you look at the GDPs per country, Brazil is actually solidly at number 12. Now, that's not like number one, like the United States, or number two, like China. But they're way, way higher than anything else. Like none of the others even appear in the top 20. Like Brazil is actually the biggest economy in Latin America. It's quite a bit above Mexico at 1.3 um, trillion GDP, whereas Mexico is uh, at 1.04. So it's about 25% higher than Mexico, 25 to 30% higher than Mexico in terms of GDP, the biggest economy in Latin America. And they might actually want to adopt Bitcoin as legal payment. So their federal deputy, this is from yahoo.com, uh, he's called Erio Ribeiro. I think I've butchered that name, but whatever. They've revealed that Brazilians could soon be able to buy houses, cars, and even McDonald's with Bitcoin. Um, they're going to have a vote on it. It's a regulation bill. It's going. It's expected to be presented with the plenary of Chamber of Deputies within the next few days. I don't know how the Bra Brazilian government works. One of you could explain it if you want to. Um, they want to separate the wheat from the chaff and then create regulations that you can trade, know what you're buying, and know who you're dealing with, Ribeiro said. With this asset, you'll be able to buy a house a car, go to McDonald's to buy a hamburger. It will be a currency in the country as it happened in other countries. So that is the breaker right there. It will be a currency in the country as it happened in other countries. They want to follow El Salvador's example. They want to enjoy they want to join Venezuela and Tonga in that as well. So they want to make Bitcoin a currency, legal tender, legal money in Brazil. And this is huge because Brazil is a major minor type of country thing. It's not top 10 but it's pretty close. Uh, and being the biggest economy in Latin America, if they go that way, other countries will definitely follow. And this has got to be driving the IMF insane. Or like maybe even the US because this would actually start breaking the United States homogeny over the almighty dollar. So bill the, the bill is 2.303 slash 15, which, which calls for the regulation of virtual currencies was approved for presentation so they can actually present it if it gets thumbs up from the Chamber of Deputies this week, then Brazil looks set to follow El Salvador example to make Bitcoin legal tender. Now, it's still got a fight because the Chamber of Deputies has to give it a thumbs up. I'm not really sure how that works or how the voting works because, like I said, I'm not an expert on Brazilian government. Don't know anything about Brazilian government, actually. So Brazil's deputy said he was happy with the approval of Bitcoin law and stressed that Brazilians were already facing Bitcoin in many places with a possibility of buying, selling, and investing in this sector. So a lot of people are already buying and selling in the sector. There's probably going to be some pressure from the IMF and other international entities. Um, so I do hope this passes, but I'm not really sure if it will. So he did note that the market was still not regulated and such, does not offer legal recognition. He said that he was sure, though, that the approval of the bill, several more countries would co could copy his country's regulatory model. And I'm pretty sure they will. I mean, like we started with El Salvador, then Venezuela wanted to jump on board. Now Tonga wants to jump on board. And now Brazil is by far the biggest domino to fall. And I really think this has to be scaring banks. This has to be scaring some people in, um, in uh, traditional finance because I think things are falling into place much, much sooner and much, much faster than they actually think. So if Brazil uses this, then I think like all of Latin America will actually follow because there's really nothing stopping them. And, you know, like if Mexico follows, you know, that's right on our southern border and that could put some pressure on the United States as well. So we'll see how this goes. But Brazil would be a gigantic domino to actually follow, much, much bigger than the other economies that have actually done this. And of course, very, very good, very, very bullish for cryptocurrencies. Uh, even if they don't pass it, it's like very, very good that they're even considering it, that like such a large economy would actually considering it would actually consider it. It's an it's obviously in our hemisphere in the West, but um, yeah, the largest economy in South uh, in Latin America. So like you know, El Salvador is like you know a very small domino. Brazil is a much bigger one. Like if Brazil adopts, maybe Argentina, Chile, 
all these South American countries and Central American countries and maybe even Mexico on our southern border will eventually adopt Bitcoin. So I can see this as a huge domino. There's going to be resistance, but I really do hope this passes. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.